Sarasota came into the spotlight on September 11th because the President of the United States at the time, George Bush, was here in an elementary school classroom. The students who were in that classroom were too young to understand just how historic that moment was, but in the years that followed, it began to dawn on them. Here are their stories. Soon as students arrived at Emma E. Booker Elementary School that morning, even the first graders sensed something was different. I remember getting there and the feeling that you have when you see so many people and you knowing that you're going right in the middle of that. And I can remember seeing like all these agents, like, I mean, I could see some like actually in the trees. So I thought that was pretty like neat. Eight-year-old LaDamian Smith knew something was up, but the real shock came when he walked into homeroom. And I can remember walking in and her saying, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Ms. Daniels classroom. And I'm like, for what? And she said, you're going to read to the president. I'm like, the president? Like, of what? Of all people? On the morning of September 11th, 2001, a dozen or so students sat nervously waiting for then-President George Bush. Seven-year-old Chantel Guerrero knew this was something big, but had no idea how defining this moment would become in American history. But I remember him coming in and just hearing gasps and then looking and being like, wow, it's, it's really him. Once he came, he kind of loosened up the mood a little bit and started talking about himself and his family and his pets and stuff. At such a young age, these students don't recall everything from that day, but they remember seeing the president's face change when White House Chief of Staff Andrew Card informed him that America was under attack. Seven-year-old Mariah Williams and the other children observed a change, but they were too young to understand the tense moments that followed. His face kind of like turned red a little bit and he looked really serious and worried. One of the kids in the class actually thought he had to go to the bathroom. So I guess like for a seven year old, that's what it looked like. President Bush allowed the children to finish reading before excusing himself to address the nation. I do want to thank the folks here at, uh, at the Booker Elementary School for their hospitality. Uh, today we've had a national tragedy. Now, 10 years later, the teenagers are just starting to tap their life potential. LaDamian is studying to become a chef at Sarasota County Technical Institute. While he can't say the experience changed him as a person, he does know it makes him somewhat unique. You know, I mean, I'm a part of history and something that has never happened in this country before. So it, it has dawned on me lately. Mariah is hoping to become a veterinarian, and Chantel helps younger kids learn to dance at Stage Door Dance Studios. She and her classmates agree that the experience matured their small group in a way other children will never understand. But the most profound thing that she will carry with her is just the memory itself. Most first graders will rely on their parents to tell them where they were the day America came under attack, but her story is her own. For me and my fellow classmates that were in that room with me, I think all of us can say that we do remember and it's something that we're going to be able to hold with us forever and we're never going to be able to forget it.